everyone welcome to our channel in this video we are going to talk about how to apply license to ibm curadar deployment let's understand why is ibm curadar license required ibm curadar license key allows you to use specific ibm curadar capabilities like ibm curadar vulnerability manager curadar risk manager curadar incident forensics curadar network insights curadar packet capture etc it also defines the event and flow rates your deployment is entitled for you can add license to your deployment to activate these ibm curadar capabilities and functions when you install a ibm curadar the system starts with a temporary license key that provides you with access to ibm curadar software for 35 days being a temporary license it expires after 35 days and therefore you must add your purchase license that is permanent license key before the temporary license expires when you purchase an ibm curadar product an email that contains your permanent license key is sent from ibm these license keys extend the capabilities of your appliance and you can apply them as soon as the IBM Curadar installation is done or you must apply them before the temporary license key expires the temporary license key allows for 5000 events per second on the IBM Curadar console and 10000 events per second on each managed host the flow per minute rate for the temporary license is 2 lakh on both the IBM Curadar console and the managed host now let's understand the different types of ibm curadar licenses basically there are three types of licenses perpetual time bound and incremental the perpetual license type does not have an expiration date while the time bound license has an expiration date defining its validity an incremental license is also known as add on license when your ibm curadar is not licensed enough to handle the volume of incoming events and flows you can add a license to increase the license eps fpm rates in the deployment they can be of two types perpetual and time bound now the obvious question is how to purchase an ibm curadar license to purchase a license key you will need to contact the ibm license team in what scenarios will you need to contact the ibm license team when you want to generate a replacement license key for new appliance purchased or hardware migration if you want to generate a license key that has been lost from a previous purchase or in case you want to generate licenses for purchase or renewals if you want to split your license to use in two different deployments you can seek assistance from an ibm license team for example Let's say you have purchased a 50k EPS license and you have two different deployments requiring 20k and 30k EPS respectively. You can contact IBM license team to restructure your license. Here are some of the considerations before purchasing a license. Check the type of incoming data to be processed. Consider the number of incoming event flow rate in the deployment. Also take into account the processing capacity of the system based on the resource specification such as cpu memory storage etc let us see a demo about how to upload a license key make sure you have the license downloaded on your system before uploading log in to your ibm curadar console click on admin tab and then click on the system and license management icon in display drop down select licenses to see the license related information to upload the license click on the upload license button browse to the license file to be uploaded click upload and confirm to upload the license key to the system once the license key is successfully uploaded click close now under system and license management wizard you will be able to see a license key with license status as unallocated In the next section of demo let's see how to allocate the license key to the IBM Curadar system right click on the system to which you want to allocate the license and click on allocate license to system then 
Select the unallocated license key and click allocate license to system. Click on confirm to override the current license key. Then click close as the license key is successfully allocated to the system. To check whether the key is allocated successfully, click on the expansion to see the list of licenses applied on the host. Here we have allocated the perpetual license to console. Similarly, you can allocate the license for IBM QRadar Forensics, IBM QRadar Vulnerability Manager and IBM QRadar Risk Manager which requires separate licenses. To make the changes effective, it requires performing deploy changes. Here we see the deploy changes are successful and license is showing as deployed and perpetual because the license we used in this demonstration is a perpetual license. We have seen how to upload and allocate license key in the demo so far. Further, let's see how to distribute EPS and FPM in distributed environment. Here, I have a deployment with the console, event processor and event collector. From IBM Curator version 7.3.0, individual event processor or flow processor license keys are no longer provided. All new event and flow capacity increase are done using the license applied to console, event collector, flow collector, data nodes and HA secondary appliances do not require a license as they inherit the EPS and FPM license from the EP and FP they are attached to. Once you have uploaded and allocated the license to console, click on license pool management button to assign the processing capacity to various hosts. Let us also understand what a license pool management is. It is a shared license pool. Using it, you can distribute the EPS FPM license to any host within a specific deployment that is managed by a single console. When you click on license pool management button, you will be able to see list of hosts and their current allocated EPS and FPM values. Here, we have a console and an event processor. On the top, we can see license pool where current unallocated EPS and FPM values are 10k EPS and 20k FPM respectively. To edit EPS and FPM values of the console, simply click on edit and change the values. You will increase EPS from 500 to 1000 and FPM from 5000 to 10,000 on console and click save. You can see the unallocated EPS and FPM value decreased to 9.5 and 15k respectively as we allocate more value to console. Deploy change action is not required here. Similarly, we can do changes in EP as well. Click edit, allocate the values and save the changes. Here, we are increasing the value of allocated EPS to 2000 and in license pool, the unallocated EPS value decreased from 9.5k to 8k. This requires understanding of the deployment to get the right type of license and distribute it correctly. Once you have that understanding, you can easily purchase, upload, allocate and distribute license in your IBM Curator deployment. Having right license on the IBM Curator ensures that no data is left behind due to license limits. Thank you for watching the video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.